In this video, I'm gonna show you how Atomic Habits can help you unlock your scream. So a while ago, I read a book called Atomic Habits written by James Clear. In it, he shows how simply being motivated to improve doesn't amount to jack shit. Cause yeah, you can get inspired to practice screaming for a whole day, but after a week, that initial excitement is gonna wear off. So if you're strictly dependent upon motivation, then you're gonna run out of fuel real quick and end up back at square one. So the question is, well, if I'm gonna run out of motivation, how will I be able to put in the work to get to my goals? And the answer is by building the habit of practice. Habits last when motivation doesn't. If you make something a habit, you won't even think about whether or not you should or shouldn't do it, you'll just do it. Now, according to James, there are several ways that you can make something a habit and make a crap load of progress towards your goal. Now, I'm gonna tell you three of his tricks and then apply it to screaming. So first off, instead of aiming to change your behaviors, aim to change your identity. There's a big difference between somebody who wants to work out versus an athlete. These two identities have a different standard of normal. If someone who wants to work out slacks off, then they'll probably skip out on going to the gym altogether. But if an athlete slacks off, that person will still go to the gym, but maybe they just won't push as hard. Do you see the difference? Now let's apply that to screaming. From this point forward, you are no longer someone who is just trying to learn how to scream. I want you to identify as being a vocalist. If you're someone who's trying to learn how to scream and you slack off, then you're probably gonna miss a few days and just not end up practicing. But if you're a vocalist and you slack off, then you're still gonna put in the work, maybe just not as hard. You're holding yourself to a higher standard if you identify as a vocalist. Tip number two, set up a reward system for practicing. The reality is that when you're just starting out doing anything, there's going to be a period where you're putting in the practice but aren't seeing the results you want. Just because you worked out for three weeks straight doesn't mean you'll see a six pack right away. Studies show that although it takes incremental practice and habits to get a desired long-term result, we are wired to look for short-term satisfaction. That's why the short-term satisfaction of chilling and playing Xbox starts to look a lot more desirable than practice screaming until you figure it out a month from now. So then the question becomes, well, if I'm not gonna become a badass screamer overnight, then how do I push through the initial period where there's little results? Well, one of my absolute favorite ways of doing this is to use what's called habit tracking. I used to have a calendar in my room where I'd make an X mark for every single day that I performed the habit that I was trying to build and it would feel super satisfying. That would bring internal short-term satisfaction. I would do this with the intention of practicing 30 days straight without breaking the chain of practice. Next, surround yourself with others who are doing the same thing that you're trying to do. Research shows that you start adopting the habits of people that you hang around with the most. And in fact, there's a study that strongly suggests that a person's IQ will actually raise by hanging out with other high IQ people. That's pretty crazy, right? Why is this? It's because it subconsciously redefines your perception of what normal is. When you think something is normal, it removes a lot of mental barriers and excuses that prevent you from doing something. You then start to think, hey, well, if everyone is doing it, then I can do it too. When I was learning how to scream, I had the fortune of reaching out to my friends who were badass vocalists who knew a lot more about screaming at the time than I did. In addition, I would also hang out with others that were also trying to learn to scream. Psst. This is also why in my premium screaming program, I created a private Facebook group for all my students to hang out, to inspire each other, to practice, to redefine what normal is, and all collectively get to that point where they've unlocked their screams. So as a review, in order to unlock your scream, you must consistently practice. The best way to do that is by making practicing a habit. Some of the best ways of doing this are, one, upgrading your identity to vocalist, two, setting up a reward system using habit tracking, and three, surrounding yourself with others who practice screaming. So in conclusion, focus on building the habit of practicing screaming and that will exponentially speed up your progress.